This is Andrew with The Chosen Prime with a quick video review of TFC Toys H06 Hypnos or the up, their updated tank on the uh, Breast Force member called Drillhorn. Um, of course these are all part of the Hades Combiner which is their version of Lyokaiser. Hypnos here essentially is a redeco or reuse of the same uh, kind of skeleton as their version of Kill Bison called Thanatos. You can see that he's a purple drill tank here. Here's his box which is standard as all the other TFC Hades members. He does come packaged in a nice foam uh, inlay here where you see the fig you get the figure you get his breast force partner here which turns to a weapon as well as a robotic rhino you get the electro le electromagnetic uh, nunchaku here which this actually does um, pull apart and have chains um, that you get you get the overall combiner weapon with uh, hypnos here and you also do get you know the standard kind of collector's card as well as some instructions he essentially comes packaged here in his drill tank mode um, with inside, but it's more complicated to transform him from this drill tank into, or from his robot mode into the drill tank. And so I'll go ahead and I'll get him into his robot mode and show off detail there and then show the transformation into this uh, drill tank mode. Taking a closer look here at Hypnos, you can see that his purple here is a nice deep and warm color. It's got some nice gloss, almost a little bit of metallic flake to it. And it contrasts well against his white um, inner body as well as this kind of gunmetal. Um, arms and uh, tank treads. Um, it's a nice kind of color throughout the figure. Um, pretty clean across the rest of the figure. And a nice update of the uh, Breast Force member here, Drillhorn. He is uh, overall essentially the same skeleton and uh, kind of engineering as their version of Kill Bison Thanatos. And I will show that off when we get to um, some comparison um, shots. Uh, an alternative kind of display for him, um, his standard way of having his shoulder pads is to have them kind of uh, folded and rotated this way. They're on just a kind of hinge and ball joint. But if you want to kind of switch it up a little bit, you can um, rotate them to the sides like this to make him even a little bit more different than uh, Kill Bison or Thanatos. As far as articulation, his head is on a ball joint, so it can rotate as well as tilt. He does have lead, red light piping for his eyes. Shoulder can rotate, these panels are on a hinge as well as they can rotate, so you have options as far as uh, positioning them. Bicep swivel, standard elbow that can bend 90 degrees. His hand is one piece, but it can rotate. He does have a waist swivel, so you can rotate him at the waist. Universal hips, that can move out as well as forward and back. Uh, knee, that can bend 90 degrees. His legs are a little bit uh, thick, that's due to having to hide the combiner legs and feet um, in these uh, ports of his legs here. He does have toe articulation, so it's on a hinge as well as it can rotate, so you can get some ankle articulation out of there. And this panel on the back can also kind of be moved down to do heel, additional heel support if you want. But overall, a nice version of Drillhorn here. Being a Breast Force uh, member, he does have a Breast uh, Master kind of uh, partner here. So if we just fold this up, this is the default uh, kind of shield design. There's a peg on the back that just pegs into his ch chest to be the standard kind of uh, armor and chest shield for him if you like. Or alternatively, you can unpeg it, fold out this barrel using the same peg we did for the chest, just hold it into his hand. And he's got his uh, breast force uh, partner here as a weapon. And the final mode for it is that you can turn it into a rhino. So if we fold the gun in here, Take the legs and fold them up. Take these legs and fold them down. Fold the other ones up. And we can move the, the back legs here to the side. These fold down. Um, kick out the legs from here on each side. And then it's just a matter of flipping out his uh, kind of rhino head here. And we get his little uh, rhino partner in his uh, animal mode, which is pretty cool. Um, no clear plastic like some of the other ones, but it's gonna be pretty sturdy. And it does look a little, it looks different enough from the other ones uh, to kind of stand alone on its own. It's nice that they've added these little Breast Force uh, members versus just uh, doing straight uh, robots. So let's go ahead and uh, transform him into his uh, drill tank mode. If you watched our previous uh, Thanatos video, the transformation to tank mode for Hypnos here essentially is the same. We begin by coming to the hands here, and there is a panel on the top here. We want to fold the hands in and close this panel. I'm going to do that on both sides. Kind of just get it up so you have room to lift this panel up and the hand will just uh, rotate in. 
and it'll lock back into place. Rotate the uh, lower arm here so the tank tread fits outwards. And then we can come to the shoulder panel here and just kind of rotate it enough and you can see that there's tabs um, both on the, sh the overall tank part here as well as the foot to kind of get this all locked together and there's the kind of the one of the front halves of the tank mode. We can just kind of get it out to the side. So rotate the forearm so we see the tank treads lower and I'll just rotate this into place and just make sure everything tabs together here to make the front of the vehicle. We'll come to the legs. Like Thanatos, he does hide the combiner feet um, in his uh, legs, lower legs here, and there are two panels. So we want to lift out, and then the back panel actually uh, brings this part along with it. So we want to feed out the foot. And so this is the position you want when he's in robot mode. When it's in tank mode, we want to hinge this piece further back and essentially just have it so that this is sitting on the back side of the outside of the tank. So we'll feed this back through. I just want to kind of sandwich this. The leg will collapse down lower. We just want to kind of get it so it fits in there. And then the uh, leg panel will close over it and kind of lock it into place. And we just want to again make sure that this um, back piece here, all the ratchets sit like this. Take the uh, back panel here and rotate it down. There are two little pegs on this uh, purple panel here that match the uh, pieces on the uh, combiner foot. We just kind of, it's a bit of a tight squeeze all right, to get it there, um, but it will lock it into place once we uh, kind of angle it in the right spot. This piece here will rotate around, and if you have issues rotating, you can just unpeg it. But essentially we want it so that the silver part, the vents are facing forward. And then the toe here just comes up and fits on the back like that. So that's one leg ready to go. You can see how much shorter on the leg uh, got. So open this panel up, open up the back. This one's a bit trickier because this um, foot, if we see here, it's got a peg. So when you're transforming it, you need to kind of move, kind of stretch it out to get it in and out when you're doing the different uh, transformations. So just kind of be aware of this peg here. But we want to bring the leg out again, hinge down, this entire piece, essentially just in that same position, and we'll feed this up. At this point, we can rotate around this uh, panel um, one, if this piece is up. Uh, collapse the leg into the lower leg here. Close this up, locking into place. The legs can snap together if we get it all. Okay, so here we gotta, we gotta come to this foot here, and we need to make sure that with the ratchets, that this sits um, flush. So it may take a little bit of effort to kind of get it all set up, but if we want it to be flush like that. Now we can angle down this little pearl piece and again, tab it into the uh, bottom foot. There are pegs between the two legs. We can peg the back of the tank together as well as that one peg in the combiner foot. Just kind of sandwich it all together. It'll lock in place. Come to the top, his head, um, we'll kind of just untab from this little slot here and it's on a double hinge and we will eventually just hide it in the uh, nose cone here. But for now, in order to get it into tank mode, we need to uh, lift this backpack just enough to uh, pull these arms down. There are little tabs on the back um, of this uh, piece here that tab into the arms that hold these uh, kind of halves in, ha in place. And so you need to lift up on this when you're kind of pulling them out. This combiner port you can see here needs to be ratcheted up. And now we can go ahead and collapse these panels again, but we, now they, they'll close it even in clo closer than they did before. Uh, before they were out just a little bit uh, for robot mode. And you have to, again, lift up on this back panel here to get it so that this uh, fits as tight as possible to the sides here. Come to the back, lift up on the drill to get it out of the way. And this entire uh, kind of canopy here will rotate all the way around and you can close it on itself which will let us take the arms and the arms have tabs um, that match the uh, bottom halves of it and just kind of get them so they are lined up on these both the, the tank treads as well as panel and then there are a few tabs here um, next to the kind of canopy here where the uh, arm also pegs in and these are seem to be a little bit uh, more tricky to kind of get lined up I think because of the way the arms kind of fit next and underneath this uh, this panel, but it will all uh, sandwich together um, once you get everything um, lined up. So we'll go to the other side. 
get this um, side of the tank put together, sandwich it to the side. Again, it looks like this uh, kind of part of the arm kind of fits underneath the canopy. And so if you're having issues, you kind of need to make sure that you have clearance to get it all um, sandwiched together. The drill tank part here has uh, tabs um, that match tabs on the top of the uh, kind of the head or the shoulders. So we just want to kind of angle this all down while still feeding the piece down. And then the, the drill will fit into place. And there is Hypnos in his drill tank mode. So let's take a look at some detail here for Hypnos. Taking a look at Hypnos' drill tank mode, you can see that it does look uh, pretty nice and sleek. Um, he's definitely a lot more purple. But then these little pieces here that are the metallic uh, gunmetal gray uh, do show up to differentiate and kind of give him some little uh, detail in the back. As far as this drill bit, uh, the overall piece doesn't move, but the front here does. So you can rotate uh, this piece here if you'd like. The canopy can open up. Um, sort of, but there's no real uh, kind of need to do that. If you like, you can take his uh, partner, and there's that peg hole on top of the canopy here where you can uh, plug the weapon in. And so you have options here for Hypnos. So finally, let's go ahead and move on to his limb mode. To get Minos into his leg mode, we need to split him apart to get the combiner feet out of his backside here. But to start, we want to unpeg the canopy here pull the arms to the side so we can get access to the legs. Split the legs apart. And we need to open up this panel here and open the back and we need to feed out the entire foot um, through and out. And what we want to do is we want to hinge, ratchet this fully down and then hinge this back up into place like, so it's, it's sitting this way with this uh, rotated all the way in, and then this peg hole and tab ready to uh, meet up with uh, this half here. So we'll sandwich the leg down, move this up so that this piece is again sitting like that, and then close the uh, leg to lock it into place. The foot, I'm coming to the back here. We want to rotate these little pieces around, lift up this panel, come to the foot. We want to Ratchet it down so the foot's this way and rotate it around so that we're ready to go that way. Again, we'll do the other side. Open up this panel so we can see the foot. Uh, push the foot through. Hinge or ratchet down this all the way down and then hinge the entire foot up in. Make sure the legs collapsed. Feed this through. Make sure it all sandwiches correctly. Rotate this panel on the back, or just pop it off. It's easier to just kind of pop these off, it seems like, because of the way that they hit um, this uh, weapon here. Hinge up the back, and then make sure it's all collapsed. Okay. We can come to that, uh, the toes here. We want to just rotate them so they're facing up, with the flat face up. And then we want, again, rotate the foot, ratchet it, so that essentially we're good to go there. Peg the legs back together. We want to take the opportunity here to rotate this canopy around. So it's facing with the red glass kind of pointing downwards. And we can angle the uh, drill bit back and just kind of move that into place. The arms need to split um, fully. So release in the backpack so that we can uh, hinge this side down. Now he's going to end up being Lyle Kaiser's left um, leg or the one we see on the right So we take this panel here and unpeg it and it'll hinge down and repeg lower And since you, all we're doing is kind of shortening this entire tread So it's one little bit the uh, lower so we hinge this piece down and it will kind of just float there But the leg um, via a peg here and a peg hole there and the different tabs Will uh, all kind of the the side of the tank mode will kind of all peg in together and hold itself uh, steady. And then we want to come to this piece and to just reattach it to the side of the vehicle so that it's uh, nice and smooth. And just make sure everything is pegged back together. Here we can see the combiner port. We want to angle it down. Uh, the final little bit we want to do is we want to come to the feet here and the feet uh, split, or the toes here. 
So just kind of grab a piece of it and it will kind of, you see it hinge forward. Um, we want to split it. And now you can just do it for the front of the, uh, the, 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 the front toe here or the back, but I kind of like that there's a, you can do it for both again to give it more stability and make the foot um, overall look a little bit um, wider. It is a little bit interesting looking foot, uh, kind of this double toe um, design that's in integrated, but it makes it a little bit different. As far as articulation for this uh, piece, you do have the ratchet that moves this way on both of them. They both can rotate independently and they both can twist as well. So you have a whole lot of different options of how do you want to pose these toes, which is kind of quite cool. But essentially there is uh, Hypnos here in his leg mode. Again, ready to combine with the rest of the Lyokaiser bots. So let's do uh, some uh, comparisons for this guy. Comparing Hypnos to a Combiner Wars Deluxe, here we've got Rook. You can see how much larger Hypnos is. He's almost a Voyager scale on Combiner Limb compared to the Deluxe scale. He is, Hypnos is kind of this larger scale, the same kind of scale that uh, was used in the Feral Rex uh, Predaking bots, as well as, you know, the Orden Abominus bots from Unique Toys. This is larger scale from uh, TFC. Alternate mode comparisons, you can see how much smaller Rook is than Hypnos here in this tank mode. And it gives you an idea how large these uh, TFC bots really are in their vehicle modes. And combiner limb uh, comparisons, again you can see how much larger and kind of more stable and sturdy uh, Hypnos is than his uh, Combiner Wars uh, kind of uh, comparison. Here is Hypnos next to a Masterpiece figure. This is Masterpiece Tracks. You can see that they're both roughly the same size here in robot mode. And so if you did want to, you could use the TFC uh, Hades bots as Masterpiece versions of Lyokaiser um, if you kind of compare them to these Masterpiece uh, size uh, car robots. Vehicle mode comparisons. You can see that uh, Hypnos here is larger than Trax in his alternate mode, um, you know, tank versus uh, Corvette, but they still matched uh, kind of height-wise in robot mode. And so I think if you wanted to, you could uh, let these uh, TFC bots here be uh, masterpiece scale figures. Robot mode comparison with some of the other TFC Hades bots. Uh, here we've got Thanatos or Kill Bison, and we've got Minos or Hellbat. Um, this is an arm, this is a leg, just like what... Uh, Hypnos turns into, you can see that Thanatos and Hypnos share the same overall skeleton, but there are differences in the overall kind of uh, detail, like in the kneecaps, the chest, the, there's always something a little bit different across the two, even though they share the overall uh, same uh, design and structure as being you know, tanks, uh, there are different enough in color and paint as well as just overall molding and detail that uh, make them so they stand alone. But then they all look as though they're part of the uh, same team. And of course Minos here being an arm is a bit is the same uh, scale as the other two making it a nice uh, team shot here in their uh, robot modes. Vehicle mode comparisons again we've got Thanatos, Hypnos, and Minos. These are both tanks but they both look different enough from each other and have enough details and features to kind of stand alone while still being uh, again part of the same overall family. And then Minos here in his jet mode you can see um, looks good. Uh, with the rest of his uh, Breast Force uh, partners. Here's a brief look at the mostly complete version of TFC Hades or their take on a Lyokaiser. Um, we've got five of the six uh, Breast Force members accounted for here. Uh, with Hypnos now we've got the ability to kind of get him fully standing on uh, two different legs. What we're missing is uh, Akos or Guyhawk which will be essentially a red version of Minos uh, to be that version of the Breast Force member. Um, I'll do a quick 360 here to kind of show off how the legs and integrated feet work, and they look pretty good. I will do uh, more complete um, detailed coverage and kind of transformation and uh, combination coverage once we get the sixth member, and I'll do a full uh, Hades uh, video. But for now, you can get a, a kind of good look here of how nice uh, Hades here looks um, in his combined mode, um, just even with the five uh, members to combine him. Um, of course, the weapon for Hades or is this uh, electromagnetic uh, nunchaku that Hypnos uh, comes with, and it does have the uh, kind of ability to split with the chains, just like uh, the animated uh, version did. He can hold in his claws, you know, either the full kind of spear or the individual pieces. It, it, he just kind of there's different. Uh, the the claws are strong enough to be able to just kind of hold the different weapons um, to have him pose. Uh, to briefly kind of go over uh, something about this weapon. So with this copy of the Nunchaku that I happened to get, um, there are the chains and they are um, strongly, they were strongly attached to the kind of the, the armed bits here, the arrow points. 
but how they were attached in the center, they unfortunately came um, loose. I can't tell if that was just uh, kind of an assembly with this particular uh, instance, or it's kind of something that's kind of just with with them all. But I was able to uh, kind of just really quickly uh, fix the problem, and I'll go ahead and I'll split this apart to kind of show you how they uh, work in here. Is that there are these little kind of tab? Here's an example of the tab where this is. A, there's a ring, a larger kind of ring on the chain here on each side, where you know I think normally it would hook around there and be fine, but the issue is is that it, it could it could pop off of that kind of uh, kind of post. And so I just put some quick little tape here just to kind of keep it um, tied down to the post. And I have, since after doing that and then kind of reattaching it here, I have zero problems um, with the chain kind of coming loose. So that might be something you might need to do on yours or it might be recommended so that you can kind of keep it so that the, the chain is uh, properly attached to his nunchaku. We'll go ahead and compare what Hades might be compared to some other figures. Here we've got another TFC combiner. This is Hercules or their version of a classics devastator. Um, I do have the Rage of Hercules kit here. That's what the additional arms and gun are from. And you can see kind of the size difference between um, Hades and Hercules here. Of course, Hades or Lyokaiser is going to be much taller than their version of Devastator. Um, it's also a lot more solid. Um, and just kind of, they've made, definitely made uh, some inroads um, on these new combiners here. This feels better than the Superion. It feels better than the Predaking. It's kind of their best um, combiner to date. They've kind of learned from their previous mistakes. And I'm really looking forward to um, this version of Lyokaiser from uh, TFC. Here's a brief comparison with the most complete Hades and a Masterpiece Star Saber. So if you were looking for a kind of a nice scale um, and rival for Masterpiece Star Saber here with Lyo Kaiser, um, the TFC uh, version of Hades here uh, matches uh, kind of, you know, bot-wise and is a good uh, master uh, kind of match uh, for these two rivals here in a Masterpiece scale in your collection if you wanted to. Some final thoughts here for TFC Toys 806 Hypnos or their take on an updated drill horn, um, which is part of the Breast Force or Lyokaiser. Um, we are five of six figures into their version of Lyokaiser called Hades, and Hypnos here is yet the next another excellent addition um, to that team and set. Um, he is a uh, great reuse of that Thanatos or Kilbison mold. mold. Um, and, but he's uh, got his own you know, extra little takes that are interesting, like the, the tank drill, uh, his breast uh, force uh, animal, um, his dark purple paint and plastic, and just overall, you know, he's a he's an excellent uh, toy, an excellent update of that original character. Um, we at the Chosen Prime currently have him up available for purchase. Uh, we also have the very first two, Minos and uh, Thanatos, available for order, and the other two uh, and uh, Akos should be available for pre-order and in stock again um, sometime soon. So if you want to uh, build your own version of uh, updated Lyokaiser, um, he does come recommended, so take care.